The baby's past is returning to haunt him. What the hell do I mean? It's your favorite look, especially after I spoke. Support the real. Get rid of the fake. The F you to the industry. How do you do that? It's simple. All you got to do is just subscribe. Then follow me on Instagram at C-E-D-D-Y-N-A-S-H. One word. Seti Nash. I follow back like pictures and all that. What's up with the visionaries? So, baby is getting the baby. Packing the mail. I'm gone. Yeah, that man. Getting sued right now, bro. For allegedly, and I don't even think he did it, by the way. Full disclaimer. Some about this story is super odd, right? So here's what happened. Baby written out a house from this dude. And literally, the dude says you can only have 12 people there. The baby like F all that, allegedly, and has 40 people pull up. The dude, for whatever reason, decided, oh, well, I'm going to go pull up. 60-year-old man. Guaranteed 60 year old white man. And so he goes up, he pulls up, and he basically tells the baby, hey, you got to shut all this down. So they snatch his phone, push him back. Dude try to get his phone, somebody hit him with one, knock his tooth out and everything like that, and he's suing for damages. You're suing for damages, but you're not pressing charges. What sense that make? In, in, in all candor, bro. What sense that make? If this man wronged you, harmed you, hurt you, and everything like that, embarrassed you, why not show up with the police as well? Why not show up at both court dates? Why not make this man pay you to make this go away? Just curious, bro. It's something to be said when there's nothing to be said from actions. Guaranteed, little buddy probably came up in there and probably had a deal worked out with the baby. And the baby probably didn't like his tone. And he probably, I'm talking to you. And guaranteed, he probably got ignored and dude started getting pissed off and started ordering people to go ahead and started leaving. Like, y'all got to go. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. And you know, when you get to talking to people like that, you know they don't listen. Then I'm pretty sure what ends up happening next is dude gets pissed off and start walking up, tapping people on the shoulders like, you got to go. Probably gets shrugged off a couple of times. Then he probably ends up running into the wrong person who probably pushes his ass. Like, back up off me, old dude. Old school, get the hell away from me. Who you think you is walking up, touching me? I'm probably willing to bet that the baby probably... Wasn't nowhere near after they probably had a conversation about the people that was there. That's just logical. It's just what makes sense to me. But here's one of the things. The baby has a reputation already. Hell, I made a, a video about Cuz need to keep his hands to himself. And he was making a music video making a mockery out of his legal troubles. The only way you need to make fun of your legal troubles is if you mess around and you get fined for smoking weed. Then you just go ahead and, bro, I got two Jamaican blunts. I'm packing five in a blunt. Five grams for those who don't know. I don't smoke weed. But either way it goes, bro. This right here is a little off. And certain stories I could believe, and this ain't one of them. But y'all expect me to keep it real because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. And if you're not subscribed, and if you're not following me on Instagram, let me ask, why not?